<laughs> Yay! Five star for Uber driver. <laughs> Uh, I think I'm gonna eat the leftover udon noodle from Thursday. So this is like Sunday, so it's still safe to eat. Last day to eat, so leftover udon noodles. Let's go. What are you gonna eat? I already ate dumplings. Dumplings. And this guy has been binge watching. Quantico. Quantico. Gary's watching it. With his girlfriend. Oh, are the twins bad? No. Yay, udon noodle. Hopefully, it's still good. Hey, it's still good. Let's eat lunch, and then we'll be on our way. Doo -doo. Hey guys, we're ready to go. My car still started. That's a good sign, and I have my mask on. And guys, I got my friend. Come, come forward. I cannot film you. Hi. Come forward. I You're too dark. Know. She's officially home. Yay! Five star for Uber driver. <laughs> How was your experience traveling during quarantine? I feel terrible. <laughs> I need to sleep. Go back to sleep. I got up at 4:30 a.m. today. And then. Uh, they were giving you were saying they were giving you sanitizers all the time. And then I came here. Yeah, they were giving out this alcohol pad all the way. Like every time you go to one uh that go into one plant, they will give you this. And then if they give you food, they will give you this to wipe your wipe your uh hands. And then the bathroom too. And then when you were in the air airport, there's also hand sanitizer you can you can use but chicago there are lots of people many many people in chicago airport it's very crazy you it's very hard to remain six feet distance really the like, chicago people, airport is like super crowded yeah people people sit everywhere it's like crazy and i wanted to buy food and my my both my mom and my advisor told me not to maybe maybe she said not to eat anything and don't go to bathroom the entire time uh, when you travel but i went to the bathroom because i had to pee and i also got food from mcdonald because i was hungry <laughs> so i don't want to die of hunger so i went to i went to get food at mcdonald but there are so many people waiting at mcdonald it's very crazy uh so like yeah. they're not really social distancing yeah yeah because yeah, it's hard here can you send me the picture? Yeah. I can post it in the in okay. the video. Yeah. So they were waiting for the food. So it's everywhere. You. So I had to stay like far away from them. But then, but then I couldn't hear the number because they were calling you the number, uh, so you can get the food. So. So you're if you're trying to social distance and trying to go to other places like to wait, and then you can't hear your food. Right. But if you want to hear your food, you're super close to other people. Right. Oh my goodness. They're so, not taking any effective yeah, measure. It's, it's better not to have food at all. <laughs> but, but everyone is uh, wearing masks. And all the, all the, I'm taking United Airlines and they were all saying like, you need to, it's required to wear mask. Unless you are medically like unable to wear mask. So I wear like double layer, I wear two. And mm. then, and then uh, I also see another Asian just like me wear two. Most people wear one. Ah, I see. So you double layered. Yeah. I only have one layer. You have to come because your lease is ending. If you don't come here to move out, then they're gonna throw away. If you don't move out your stuff, it's basically assumed that you don't want your stuff, right. so they throw away and your they stuff. They will also find me. They also find you? Yeah. I think I have. They have my deposit. Oh. So they will find me because they had to trash my stuff. So they will find me for all the time they spend to trash my stuff. Oh. And they will definitely find me more. Like maybe. If they spend 30 minutes, they probably probably say they've spent 6 hours. Oh, I see, I see, I see. So yeah. basically, if you don't come back, not only you lose your stuff, you'll also get a fine. Yeah. You, you will never get your deposit back. Yeah. Oh, so that's why she had to travel all the way back. Okay, thank you so much. No problem. Have a good rest. Okay, Okay, bye. let's go home. Bye. <laughs> I don't know. Bye. Um. Because I haven't been to the Asian store for a long, long time, our Asian supplies have go really, really down. Um, basically, they're gone. 
and with the number of cases right here in San Antonio, it's gone crazy. I don't think we can go to any Asian stores like if the cases go even higher and higher and higher. So I'm about to, we're about to go to the Asian store in San Antonio. Um, I got my face masks and I also got my gloves just in case and then uh, we need hand sanitizer we can wipe everything and hopefully everything will be good i got my gloves for shopping we're just gonna go in and out we're just gonna go in and out so it should all be fine i think so face mask on oh i need nervous but this is gonna be three another two months supply at least for july and august and hopefully we'll get better if i knew the cases here are gonna be super high i would have gone like in April, yeah, but now it's like going super crazy. Are you ready? And I'm gonna go get my mask in my car and let's. All right, guys, we're here at the Asian market right here. Ta da! Okay, so let's put on the effective measure. Okay, there's a police officer here which protects our safety as Asians. Here, we're gonna put on gloves. It's not. Everybody wears Nobody's gloves. Nobody's wearing gloves. It doesn't matter. That's why people get sick. The hot chicken ramen flavor. Oh, they have the kimchi flavor. Kimchi. They have the curry flavor. I don't like curry. No, we're gonna try this Some out. Flavors I don't like. You have not tried it yet. You know I don't like cheese. This is jajangmyeon. Type then. This gailan. Gailan. This is not gailan. This is gailan. Oh my goodness. Candy. Buy one. Just buy two. They don't go bad. It feels good. my grocery shopping trip Ta-da! I bought so much food just but let's see what I got from the Asian store I got so many cool items today first of all is that I got hot chicken ramen I got different flavors this one is a cheese flavor uh, it's Brandon's favorite and I also got this stew type so basically this is a hot chicken ramen stew which is interesting because I love eating stew. I love Korean soup. So probably this is the one for me. This one is the kimchi flavor. I also love kimchi. So another good flavor to try. Maybe we'll make a video dedicated to try out hot chicken ramen. I found a new flavor. This is the curry flavor. So we got four different flavors of hot chicken ramen. We're probably going to do a dedicated video um, testing out different flavors from the hot chicken ramen brand. And let us know in the comment if you're going to be interested in watching my video testing out these ramen flavors and if you have tried these which one is your favorite and then we got some items we need to put in the freezer including some meatballs hey i remember i got several meatballs um this one is the combination i know they're not the healthiest thing you can eat because like it has a lot of carbs uh this probably imitation meat but i still really really love the fish tofu in my soup because it's one of the um items that you eat for hot pot so we got the fish tofu and a combination fish balls i'm gonna put them in the freezer and this is the uh sriracha pot stickers but there are just so many different flavors the sriracha one i really I recommend this one in a sense that although they're not a lot of meat it's not super meaty but it has this heat inside of the dumplings it kind of tastes like sriracha flavor so I really like this one this is the sriracha chicken pot stickers I love chicken and pork pot, pot stickers so highly recommend this one I think you can buy it from a lot of different stores I've seen it from a different Asian stores and then another bag of uh, meatballs of course because I love these so we're, so we're gonna put them in the I don't know if you guys have tried this special core 
Ta-da! This is the type of corn that I used to eat in China. This is like different from the American genetically engineered corn in the sense that it's not super sweet, but it's very starchy. Yeah, so the corns in China, original corns I had in, I don't remember corns being super sweet. I just remember it should be very starchy. But then I think uh, corns were genetically engineered to produce corn syrup that's why it becomes really really juicy and really really sweet but I still miss my Asian corn so I got these corn um, I think you can buy these from Korean market um, I've seen it in a couple of different grocery stores it tastes so good because they're the original corn that I ate growing up they're really starchy instead of being sweet and they're also more filling as well I really like the texture so I got the possible amount there are only four bags left so I got four <laughs> yeah, I know. I went on a shopping spree today, but it's good. It's good. <laughs> These food usually last longer because they are in the freezer, so we're fine. We're fine stories I tell myself about these lotus roots I don't know if you have tried these um, you can buy the ones that are not processed but it's a lot of work watching those so I bought these lotus roots you can also find them in Korean market Chinese store Asian market got two bags of Chinese broccoli the Chinese guideline basically the stems are very crunchy the texture is so good uh, but the leaves are really leafy as well and it contains a lot of nutrients so I got Chinese guy one, Chinese broccoli, and the lotus root. So we're gonna live healthy. But then I bought a bunch of processed food snacks. So, okay, so let's see what snacks that I got. Oh, actually, I got two soup tofu soup kit. Um, yeah, I think I got a lot of Korean food uh, because I really like the kimchi flavor. I guess like the town I was born in China, it was like in the northeast. And also my mom used to work for a Korean restaurant in Beijing. And we used to eat Korean food for free every Sunday because that's the day my mom works. So I really like this soup. And also where I came from, it's really, really, really cold in winter. So we used to eat a soup and stew all the time. So here we go. We got two tofu soup kit. So basically inside of these kits are um, a huge huge uh, extra soft tofu and some sauce so it's very easy you just put the soup base you put tofu you put some vegetables you put some meatball and that's it it's like super easy to make and you can also soak some rice in there so really really flavorful highly recommend four boxes of the mango flavored Taiwanese fully soup cake basically these are like a pineapple cake from Taiwan if you've been to Taiwan this is something they're famous for so good um, we have some families uh, living in Taipei Taiwan every time they visit it always bring me these um, they usually bring me like the super fancy ones not these but I think these are the best I could get in America right now um, I hope to travel to Taiwan someday to visit my family and also buy a bunch of these pineapple cakes they're so so good like my favorite thing my literally my favorite snack of all time so I got four bags because I ran out them super easy super quick um, it's not like huge boxes um, so super happy I gotta stock up, right? Stock up. I got several items to make boba tea. I got the boba tea tapioca pearls. You can buy these from Amazon as well. I'll put the link in the um, description box down below if you can't find it in your local Asian store or um, if you don't have an Asian store around, um, you can definitely make boba tea at home. I made a dedicated video about how to make easy boba tea recipes. So make sure you check that out if you also love to drink boba tea. Uh, basically, these are very good. This is a black tapioca pearl. I'm ready in five minutes if you're gonna buy something like this make sure you buy the ready in five minutes ones because like there are also other kind that you have to boil for 40 minutes so I don't really recommend that one I've tried it before I always either overcook them or undercook them but the five minutes one you can't mess that up so I'll put the Amazon link in the description box down below and Brenda's favorite coffee is the Vietnamese coffee drink we love Vietnamese coffee because it has this a special strong coffee taste. I know it's hard to describe. Um, it's really great for summer because you usually drink it cold. Um, so this brand is my favorite. I was trying to find it on Amazon but I couldn't find it. Uh, I was worried that maybe they will run out in the local store but they still have it. The best part about this coffee brand is that it's black coffee. So I tried to find one online and they're always like three in one mix. Like they have the creamer and sugar but 
it kind of ruins it. The creamer and sugar kind of ruins it. So I um, highly recommend the black Vietnamese coffee. And to go with that, I also got three of these condensed milk. I was trying to buy the regular condensed milk from the generic brand from HEB, but it does not taste the same. Um, try to get this milk. It does taste... Try to get this one. Highly recommend it. You won't regret it for your Vietnamese. Two Vietnamese coffee with boba tapioca pearls. And I got three cans of these condensed milk so we're covered for the next two months i think almost forgot about these um to go into the soup that i bought for kimchi i also got two organic enoki mushrooms uh i really like these mushrooms because they don't have the weird mushroom taste but the texture is really really good they kind of look like noodles in your soup as well so i got two of these they and also two yam noodles um, basically very low calorie noodles kimchi instant noodles as well because you know what I love kimchi soup what can I say I mainly bought these because of the soup base because of the seasoning pack so I got these little milk cake milk cake so basically they're like these little cake thing and inside of these it has like some stuffing that has like this cream cheese or cheese or mozzarella cheese texture uh it's kind of gooey um kind of stretchy type of flavor um tastes like cream milk cream i can't really describe it in english you just have to try it does taste really good though so it's not too sweet it's not overwhelming it has this milky buttery taste really good and squid my favorite squid flavor is the spicy flavor so i got the hot chicken brand but this one is really 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 expensive this one is like three dollars versus this one is like less than two dollars so I think you're buying it for the seasoning, not for the actual product. And then we got the shrimp chips, you know, things I eat when I grow up. There are uh, other sweet snacks that I got. It also tastes really, really good. Uh, things I ate when I was little. This one, um, it kind of tastes like corn. It's like a corn chip type of thing. And, then, and it has this sweet barbecue chicken flavor. Really good. We also bought something big. Haha. <laughs> the main reason why we had to go is because we're almost out of rice. So I got 15 pounds of rice. Uh, and when it comes to rice, I always try to buy from the Asian store because they do have different types of rice compared to the regular um, grocery store. So got a 15 pounds of rice, good for the next three months, I think. <laughs> We're gonna eat dinner early and do some work and maybe take a walk in the evening. So right, guys, I just got my HEV grocery delivery. Honestly, I'm kind of disappointed because I ordered a tea, a nice tea item. Uh, they're out of it, so they were giving me the substitutions. But the problem is I ordered a diet iced tea and they substitute it with like sugary iced tea. Um, like with snapples. Like I know snapples, they have the diet snapples, but they didn't really substitute with diet snapples. Well, it's fine. Um, I won't drink a lot then because it has a lot of sugar. Brenda will probably drink it. Um, the problem is I bought so much, so I substituted so much and now we're drinking those like sugary iced tea. I think for one, like I think sugary drinks are okay if you just drink it sometimes, but not like a lot of times. So that was kind of a failure on my part. Probably a fault on my part because I should have um, just put this substitution like if this item is not available, can you find a diet iced tea? Um, but I thought it was like, oh, uh, maybe people will substitute with diet iced tea. Like, you know, I order diet iced tea, so you sub substitute with another brand, um, the same diet iced tea. But apparently, next time I should put the instructions right there. But I got the substitutions. Um, that's okay, I'll try this brand. I got three bags of cherry. Three bags. Yay, because cherry... Cherry is literally my favorite fruit. And I also got a lot of peaches, uh, some potatoes. And this one tastes really good. This is the um, chicken fajita bowl. This is like $6. It's not cheap, but I think it's pretty fresh and it's really convenient for lunch. Um, I got toilet paper. Initially, we wanted to buy Charmin, but I guess they're out. Uh, because right now, the number of cases in San Antonio are peaking. Like it's just peaking so high. So everybody is trying to get toilet paper again, I think. So they're out of Charmin. Uh, we got these toilet papers, which is not the best quality, but at least we got the toilet papers. So can't complain. Um, really, you can't complain. And got some bananas. Um, I really appreciate the personal shopper because I put the instruction that I appreciate um, um, if you could try to pick the green bananas, then I always try to pick the ones I really, really like. Um, 
the milk we wanted to get on the Horizon brand was out, so we got the Central Market. That's okay. Uh, and then I got the Napa cabbage for my Korean soup. I got two of these. One of my favorite vegetables. Then I got the salad for Brandon, which is the sesame sweet Asian salad. This one tastes really good. I like that too. And two avocados. So we didn't buy too much this time. But next time I learn, next time if you want to order like a diet iced tea, uh, I didn't know it was going to be out because last time we feel ordering the same thing over and over again every week and usually it's been pretty good they always have everything in stock i don't know what happened this weekend um so next time i'll remember to put on a note like if this iced tea item is out maybe find a diet iced tea or diet drink to substitute but that's okay this time brandon will just drink it we got another great tea ice cream going it's not healthy but um this is really really good it tastes like a green tea ice cream i had in asia so highly recommend the haagen green tea ice cream really good if you're a green tea matcha eater <laughs> lover Alrighty, that's it for today's vlog it's pretty it's a pretty eventful Sunday, I guess. We had a lot of fun. Um, I felt pretty accomplished. Alrighty, that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you like it, please give it a thumbs up and also subscribe to this channel. Ring the notification bell so that you'll be notified every time I upload a new video. And I will see you in my next video. Bye!